Hey YouTube, have you seen this yet? If not, get ready to see your next DPS exotic swap on the Warlock. Finally, we're back in business. The Warlock's got some DPS. Today we're breaking down the Apothesis Veil. Complete breakdown with all damage supers. Let's get started. All of our testing was done at Frisia, the Grasp of Avarice Ogre. Thank you so much for being a willing test subject. We then brought our builds into Warlord's Ruin to see how it translates into today's newest content. And this thing really does shine. So guys, if this video does help, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel tremendously. So let's start talking about the exotic everyone's forgot about. Until now, the Apothesis fail. So let's start off with Voidwalker. So the format of this video is we show off the melee preferred grenade, any aspects or fragments that you will need to increase your damage. And then we'll show you the different grenades and the damage and output that they have done. All right, so with this in Voidwalker, Echo of Undermining, is really the only thing you have to run as well as Cataclysm Super. We'll show you here the damage phase. With the weaken from our grenade, you're gonna notice criticals happening with the grenade and all damage. So what's happening is I'm putting a 10% debuff on the boss. So that's for yourself, all your damage output as well as your teammates. So you'll see Scatter Grenade wins 569,000, Magnetic 544,000, and Vortex with 503,000. So definitely go with the Scatter or Magnetic. Next up, we have Stormcaller, our Chaos Reach. For melee, you're gonna want Ball of Lightning. Unfortunately, the cycling back and forth between melee and grenade does not work with the other melee. We're gonna want Pulse Grenade. That is absolutely our preferred grenade here. In terms of aspects, you can use whatever you like, but in terms of fragments, you're gonna want Spark of Magnitude. It makes your grenades linger, so they're gonna do more damage, and you're gonna want Spark of Shock as it makes your grenades jolt targets. So really fantastic. So this is it in action here. We're expelling our Chaos Reach, and now it's time to chain and cycle back and forth. We're going to get five melees and five grenades every time. So no matter what super you have, you're going to get five grenades and five melees every single time. So you're going to notice Pulse Grenade wins with 694,000. Huge win. Storm, 515,000. And Skip pretty lowly at 401,000. So as I said earlier, Pulse is the preferred grenade. Next up, we have Brood Weaver, our Needle Storm Super. You're gonna wanna use Threadling Grenades. We didn't even test the other grenades, in fact, because the Threadlings do so much damage, it's no contest. So we're gonna want Mind Swung Invocation as part of our aspects. Threadling Grenades have enhanced functionality. And next up, in terms of Fragments, we're gonna want our Thread of Evolution. Threadlings travel further and deal additional damage. We're expelling our, our Needle Storm. See you later. We throw one grenade, melee, another grenade, two melees, a grenade. So in terms of functionality, it's just so much fun to throw and so much fun to use. And the damage output is incredible. This is the highest output in total, 722,000 damage. Last but not least, we have our solar subclass, specifically Well of Radiance. Obviously, it's so important in the meta right now. We have our Celestial Fire Melee. We have our Fusion Grenade. That was absolutely the best grenade. In terms of aspects, you can run Icarus Dash or Heat Rising, whatever you prefer. But you absolutely want to run Touch of Flame as Fusion Grenades explode twice with this aspect. Absolutely run that. And then in terms of fragments, you're going to want to run specifically Ember of Ashes. You apply more score stacks to targets, and it ended up being about 10,000 more damage per Fusion Grenade, which isn't nothing. So we put down our Well. It's time to to go ballistic on the ogre. One thing to note is don't use the snap. It slows down the rotation way too much. So you're gonna notice here the fusion grenade, 503,000 way in front, a lot of damage with just grenades. Solar's 475,000 and the trip mine is abysmal, 333,892. Absolutely horrific. So in conclusion, I think that this exotic is a must to swap to during damage phase. You can just put out so much damage in such a short period of time, no matter what subclass you're running, except for Void, I'd probably avoid that altogether. Obviously, Strand and Arc are very, very strong. Arc damage is going to be higher on the grenades from the Pulse, whereas Strand, you're going to get a little bit more damage from the Super. But I think overall, most people are going to be running well because it's just kind of the meta right now, and it's absolutely wild. I hope you did enjoy this. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel a fuck ton. And until next time, I'll see you soon.